Hello and welcome to Tengi Talks TV and Movies. Today's weird short silent film is The Man Who Hanged Himself, the five minute black comedy from French comedian Max Linder from 1906. Max Linder is an interesting figure. He was one of the first movie stars who had an identifiable screen persona that he carried through multiple films. And this, of course, paved the way for comedians like Charlie Chaplin, who were to follow later on. I've heard this one is a bit uh, gruesome, a bit macabre, perhaps. I'm really curious. Let's have a look at the man who hanged himself. <laughs> oh, no. oh, God, twist. <laughs> oh, my God. I did not see that coming. What? Oh, what? That was brilliant. <laughs> As Art Nouveau flourishes. I'm guessing this is Max in the middle with the hat. Ooh. So is he being turned away by his sweetheart's family, it's being uh, rejected. Aww. Wow, he's a great performer. I mean, in only a few seconds he's managed to be so sympathetic. So the song tells the story instead of having intertitles. I wonder if this was an existing comedy song or if it was written for the movie. Oof! Oof! This is pretty 
be horrible. <laughs> Days before CPR was a thing, I guess. So it's just divided up the rope. <laughs> Using a bicycle pump instead of CPR. Very cartoony. Wow. Okay, so I just checked and apparently the film was inspired by the song. That makes a lot of sense. And it does work beautifully having the recording of the song playing with the film. I found this really interesting knowing that Max Linder was a star. Seeing the way he's presented here, he does really have that sort of striking star quality even though we never see him in close-up. There's just something about his persona straight away, right from the start, that is very engaging, very sympathetic. And I think his acting, the quality of his acting, really stands out among the various short films I've seen from this period. His acting really does distinguish him as a performer of a different calibre, a much higher calibre, I think. It's a simple premise, really well executed. It is quite um, grim and confronting. At the same time, it is very funny. I would definitely watch more Max Linder films on the strength of this one, if this is any indication of what his work's like. It seems interesting. Max Linder was apparently the first international movie star, was a huge star of his day before his career sadly declined and he was eclipsed by stars like Charlie Chaplin. Tragically, Max Linder did end up taking his own life, so this film, his first film, does seem eerily prophetic in that way, but he did have his moment in the limelight, and it does start here with this movie. So I'm really glad I watched it, and I will definitely watch more of his films. If you've enjoyed watching The Man Who Hanged Himself today with me, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.